Hey guys, Kira with I Am Crafty Cosplay, and today I'm going to be doing Zoe's jacket from Left 4 Dead. I started by buying this light red hoodie off of Amazon for less than $10. Zoe's jacket is not technically a hoodie, so I had to cut the hood off. Folding it in half, I cut it and left roughly about two and a half inches for the collar. Using liquid stitch, I had to glue the seam back together on the collar so it wouldn't continue to separate and curl. You can either leave it like this with the rough cut edge, or you can fold it over and make a hem. Feel free to sew this if you're good with a needle and thread, or just use glue like I did. The way Zoe's collar falls, you'll want to fold over the edge towards the back of the jacket to hem it. You can fold it over and glue it again if you want an even cleaner look, but I wound up just leaving it folded over once. Now for the white panels on the sides. I started with a paper template first so that I could get the width that I liked. I bought this white fabric from Michaels for less than $5 with a coupon. However, it is a little thin, so I kept it folded in half once so the red jacket wouldn't be seen through it. Using my template, I traced it onto the fabric, making sure one side was utilizing the fold, and also made sure to leave some extra room. The paper wasn't long enough to reach from beneath the armpit to the top of the bottom hem, so I made sure to cut extra for that. Once you have two pieces cut out, you'll want to hem the unfolded edge of each panel.
then hem the bottom edges. Figure out where you'll want to place the panels, then start gluing, or sew if you prefer. Once you get closer to the top, you'll want to cut it to shape to the armpit. Now, don't cut exactly like I did. You'll want the fabric to lay over the seam there a little bit more, which will be covered in the next step. You'll better understand what I mean in a moment. Next, with some string, I began wrapping it around the shoulder. I used a paracord because it was the only white string I was able to find that was thick enough, but you can use a softer string if you'd like. I wound up having to use hot glue because the liquid stitch just wasn't strong enough. As you can see, there's a bit of a gap between the fabric and the string, which shouldn't be there, so that's why I suggest overlapping the fabric on the armpit seam just a little bit more than I did. Once you've finished both shoulders, you'll want to use the string to line the pockets. Just simply cut a piece down to size and glue it on. Now, if the edges fray like mine did, you can very carefully use a lighter to melt the edges. And once you've finished with that, you're all done. Now you have a jacket just like Zoe. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up as well as leave a comment. Also, feel free to subscribe, hit that little bell to be notified of future cosplay videos. And as always, guys, thank you so much for watching.